Hi beautiful souls, this is Heidi and you're watching a Journey Now video. Today's video topic, um, we've been sort of tossing this one around for about a week now, getting different downloads and bits of information on it and um, it really has to do with what I would say would be the oversoul, the higher self um, and timelines. And it becomes more relevant within this video as we are heading into the, the solar eclipse that's happening on the second chair. And you guys, can't you feel it? I mean, honestly, for the past few weeks, my world has been so expanded as I am preparing for all these energies that are coming through. I have had so much expansion within my light body um, in many, many ways. Um, and one of them specifically that I want to talk about in this video and that we want to bring in for this video does have to do with past lives and the higher self. And so um, they're wanting me to give a little in explanation about the oversoul or the higher self. And so they say during these times of great coding coming down within this eclipse that is about to happen is really gonna propel us forward in our own expansions into our light bodies and into the crystalline. And a part of that they say is resurfacing you guys remembering so what's been going on for me and I mean I have been able to recall past lives but it seems as though with these energies moving in I am getting much more definition much more information within the past lives that I do remember and you guys I can remember about a dozen of my past lives and the reason that this is is um, part of the journey they say is because we are being allowed to view our past lives in a way that we can start sequentially piecing together who we are as a collective self and so they say every individual has a collective self comprised of different higher selves and over souls and so they're wanting me to um let you guys know that a way that we can describe it that might help you to uh, sort of wrap your mind around what it might look like would be you can you have a highest soul so they, they often say, you know, check in with your higher self. Um, and of course, that is so important as we are going into this eclipse with the new moon uh, in July, on July 2nd. Check in with the higher self, your higher self, because this is where the best information comes from, because who is going to love you more and who is going to guide you within that pure light and have you as a number one is always going to be yourself. And so we have multiple over souls and those are selves or fractals or aspects aspects of ourselves residing in higher dimensional states of existence. And so it really kind of can look like ladder rungs in every timeline is what a rung, rung could look like, as they're saying. Rungs on the ladder can be viewed as timelines, and of course, each timeline that you are existing in, in a higher dimensionality, is viewed as a higher self. And then we have our highest potential self that is existing, who really is our puppeteer master. And this highest self fractals off expression points into different carnations and they run simultaneously past present future as there is no time we are actually living multiple lives and depending on the person can be you know this 
a few all the way up to having living being living hundreds of lives and so what is going on right now as we are being able to view and recall past lives and if you haven't yet there's no need to worry that is part of the expansion and evolution of humankind but it will come to you and there is no no need to feel um, panic if it hasn't yet that is coming in increasing amounts of energy um, within the times that we're in so let it play out on your own spectrum of when you will be able to recall your past lives but in doing so so we can actually view and start pulling together fractal pieces of ourselves that are no longer relevant or necessary for where we are heading in 5D Earth, the golden era, or the age of Aquarius. We can start to look back, piece together the lessons that we have taken from these past lives and we can pull those pieces now into our now state as we are rising and as our light body is expanding. So this gives us the benefit of being able to see where we've come from and to piece it together and um, again with recalling past lives, then now also, we are going to be recalling our blueprints and the reasons that we came and who we are. And this, for all of us star seeds, um, so I am a Pleiadian star seed, and within this recent energy downloads and all of these gorgeous solar coating that have been coming down from that central sun, um, the Living Library, which does hold records of everything that ever has been, ever will be. We are able to now um, have a remembering of which star families we have actually come from to incarnate into this human form in 3D Gaia. And so for me, um, with all these new energies coming around, I have just really had that expansion of the DNA. I've been able to feel the DNA's transconnecting and they say, the neurological patterning you can feel redesigning itself into its full completeness which is going to allow and is going to bring up and going to resurface the truth of who you are and so once all this happens it's like um an electrical circuit that just lights up and all these neurons and all of these pathways are opening up and they're firing off and they're starting to work together harmoniously so that we can step into the truth of our divine purpose here as we walk forward as starseeds on the planet to bring about this evolution of humankind, this evolution of Gaia and this evolution Evolution, really they say of the universe because we all step up they say so it's not just looking at humans and mother Gaia and all of her inhabitants we are actually lifting everything up onto a higher rung all the way up to the highest dimensional frequencies and timelines. So when we're talking about timelines and recalling our true divine selves, they start to pull together and this is what is actually forming your crystalline structure, your light body, and this is expanding and creating a higher frequency which in return is forming our Merkaba. And that is necessary for our 5D reality living. And so they want me to talk about timelines within this frame of thought. So they say, when looking at timelines, 
you can, they want me to use me for an example, and I don't often talk about my, my own examples of self, but um, for this video, I think I'll give some of that. So um, as a Pleiadian star seed, I come from Tegeta, and I have been able to go there often, as I do also visit from time to time, um, 5D Gaia and I do have a home on 5D Gaia that I actually go into and I do alchemy in my kitchen there and I'm able to view all of the beautiful architecture and the different um, ways of living is what they want me to call it ways of living that we can all look forward to when we hit that event and they do want me to make note that um, we will be doing, and I know I say that, but I really don't 100% control my videos. It comes from them. I know what video I'm doing according to them, and I do it when they let me know that it's time to do a video. And so um, they really want me to stress that the event is a shift that happens within each single individual. So um, this is where timelines comes in as a bit of an explanation into that. So when we're talking about individual ascensions into the 5D, it is um, a specific specific frequency that each individual enters into and once they hit that frequency that's when they begin that 5d timeline so they say you can look at it as a timeline of collectively say we're looking at 5D as a timeline, the massive amounts of energy and individuals who are increasing their frequency to become a match to this timeline, that is going to draw forward more energies, more information, more solar data coming down for the masses that is going to propel their expansion and their awakening. So collectively, as we are all raising our own vibrations, we're pulling down from the higher timelines the necessary information as star seeds to help shift the others around us into that awakening. So as we each hit our specific frequency, or they call it development. That's really what it is, it's development. As we hit a specific developmental phase in our own evolution, our own expansion, we hit our personal event. And this is a timeline, again, that we are all seeking and all rising to. And so it isn't a matter of dates, they say there's many dates going around about the event and this, sh this giant shift that's going to occur, but in reality, it is already occurring, has already occurred for some, is on the brink of occurring for others, everybody is at their own pace. And that is the way it was meant to be. We can only take on a certain amount of light into our body at a time so that we don't blow our circuits, so to speak. And so when we come in as star seeds, we are coming in here holding a higher frequency to begin with that we could, um, they say not necessarily so, but for right now, they would say in terms of advancement, an advanced amount of energy or frequency in a star seed body coming down is elevated so that we could take on the coding right from the right from the get-go that we could start holding that light so that we could start raising the frequency to that higher timeline that expansion of self so now um coming from a place of complete amnesia to where a lot of us are sitting now, the people watching these videos, the people making these videos, um, 
we feel it. We feel it so much more now as all of this is rolling. It's like this giant stone or rock that rolls down the hill increasing its speed faster and faster and that's what we're seeing right now and so it's no surprise that a ton of us are down and out here and there up and down up and down and it is becoming extremes extreme highs extreme lows because that's necessary as polarization because from the extreme low you feel the extreme high and it bounces like this in a magnitudinal force that creates this expansion of every molecule of every cell within your body within your etheric self there is so many layers of the self and so we can refer to our self as um, selves plural being the multiple timelines, the multiple existences that we are living. And so as I'm sitting here giving you this video and I am knowing that in this carnation of Heidi, I am so many other beings as well. And one of those beings is my Pleiadian self. And I am actually able to view that self um, existing in it's like a pod um or a capsule it a vessel it's a little place that that body that higher self because they are in a higher dimension so it's a higher self that higher aspect of me has fractaled this Heidi to this carnation. And so this higher self, that Pleiadian higher self here that has created Heidi the star seed that I'm in now, also has higher timeline selves. And it all works together like a giant orchestration of the overall blueprint of you. And so, as we're spinning into this eclipse, you guys, be prepared for memories to start coming back. And when they do, it is magnificent, the feeling and the opening in the heart space when you start to truly understand who you are, where you're from, why you're here, and can collectively look back and pull up past timelines that don't serve you now and this is where karma comes in to play that role of herself trying to expand and now they say to check myself when i'm labeling he and she because as many of the people watching this video know lots of you have a problem with people labeling a gender and I simply give gender based on my perception and what feels good to me, although I do know there is no gender at all for anything. I choose to label a gender to certain things based on what I'm feeling. So again, there's no need to ever attack people speaking gender towards different energies. So when we are trying to um, pull together these past timelines, I think um, for me anyway, what I have become highly aware of is that the past lives that I'm recalling, they are all ones that have served gigantic lessons for me that have maybe not ended quite so well, um, lots of chaos ensuing, um, more often than not ending in my demise um, in whichever uncomfortable way because there have been some really uncomfortable deaths that I have been able to witness. But the point of it is, is we are recalling some of the very big lessons in the past lives now because those traumas are not relevant anymore to 5D Gaia. So it's like cleaning house to make room for 
potential higher timelines. So we're bringing in the old ones, we're looking at the lessons and we're saying, now we do not need to have this trauma continuously streaming on this timeline over here. We are actually being able to close lower vibrational timelines that aren't serving these ones any longer. And that is giving us more room within our light bodies to take on higher frequencies. So that is what purging is. That is what shadow work is. And so once, and, and they say it, it's like releasing the negative. So you can see how that's similar, releasing the negative to bring in the positive. And the higher that we evolve, towards our 5D, 4D, 5D, 6D, because it isn't just 5D, you guys, expansions, the more necessary it is going to become to release those old timelines, those past lives. So please do write in the comments, you guys, are you remembering things? Are you remembering past lives? Are you remembering in this carnation memories in great detail from three years old? two years old that you never remembered before. Well, that, my friends, is a positive, positive sign or a synchronicity influx because synchronicities occur when we are in alignment and synchronicities occur as we speed up to an approaching higher level timeline. So if you see an influx in synchronicities, numbers, whatever they are for you, if you see a huge influx in those, chances are you are reaching a higher timeline. And so the best way to cross and embrace into that is to clean house with the old and we will be able to climb a higher and higher timeline the more shadow work we do. So timelines, you guys, uh, that's a brief explanation on the timelines, but they want me to really press the fact that as we're going through this summer, because this summer holds so much energy for the shift and into the age of Aquarius, that um, we are going to have massive amounts of star seed complete. It's like a complete reprogramming or a return to the original. Um, they're like showing me like a floppy disk going into the computer. It's like a return to the original you and you'll remember. And that is a beautiful thing. And that is the repatterning of the neurological brain, the third eye, the right and left hemispheres coming together. This is balance and harmony that is providing a whole brand new perception, which is us remembering who we are, where we came from, why we're here, where we've been, and where we're going. And if you know all of that, you are well on your way into the golden era, my friends. So I hope this gives you guys a little bit of um, excitement into the preparation because again, they're saying this amount of energy coming through on the second, they're like, hold on to your seats, you guys. Data is going to be flying at us from all 360 degrees up and down and everywhere that you can get it, whether you want it or not, it's coming into your body, it's coming into your auric field, it is coming into all the many layers of you so that you can be born a brand new butterfly. And they're continuously showing me that for the cycles going in through this summer is many of us are breaking out of those cocoons and becoming those butterflies. And they say, if you just watch and you look around, you're going to actually begin to have tangible truths of 
5D living. So you guys, that is so exciting and I'm so glad that I could give you a bit of information about timelines and um, shadow work again, you guys. Please do the work. I know we're all exhausted and feeling like we just can't take on any more, but please continue to do the work. They say rest as much as you can and fear not all is perfect in its divine timing. So love and light you guys and we thank them so much for coming through to give this message. We'll see you next time. Love you guys, bye.